Where does the null hypothesis actually come from? That depends, but it's always someone external to you. It's not going to be the thing you're trying to prove. It's what someone else has said that you're trying to disprove. So let's say you're challenging published data. You see something in a newspaper that you read and you say, I don't think that's true. In that case, your null hypothesis is going to be the original source. So the newspaper that published whatever it was uh, that you're going to challenge. If you are comparing something local to something global, let's say your uh, typical basketball team has an average height of something, but you think that the team in this city has a higher average height. Uh, you would use the null to be the global standard, whatever it typically is outside of just your local area, but everywhere. And then the local uh, number is what you're trying to prove. So you would say that your alternative is that it's higher than the global or lower than the global standard, or not equal. Last one would be uh, in medical research. Uh, if you're trying to prove that your new drug is more effective than something else, you would look at how effective the current best treatment is. So if the current best treatment gets you better in five days, then you would say uh, your null is that it takes an average of five days to get better. Your alternative is that it takes an average of less than five days. So the null always comes from something external to you. It is not uh, something you create. It's someone else's published thing, uh, some other global standard, or the current best uh, thing out there.